a group of human rights agitators, including the United Alliance of Social Forces and the People's Alternative Political Movement, has demanded national action against insecurity and poverty in Nigeria. Plus TV Africa's correspondent, Destiny Morma, has more. <laughs> The group has come together to agitate, make demands, and want their voices heard in the annals of history. So they have spoken unequivocally concerning their demands, which include the right to live in dignity, comfort, free from fear, and ability to work in their own interest. What are we demanding? They condemn the inactions they have attributed to historical incompetence and negligence of the ruling class. We want to take advantage of this rally to condemn the killing, brutal killing of Mr. Gulak yesterday in a way. And we're asking for full investigation. This kind of uh, gathering is important, you know. To let them know that you know Nigerians understand that they need to be represented better. We are demanding that our children should be protected from being kidnapped. We are demanding that the farmers sh should be protected from being killed on the field of farming. The killings that have gone on in this country are un unrivaled, unparalleled in the history of this country. We have never sunk so low as a nation. The Nigerian people have come to the realization that the future lies in their hands. The protest, which started from Ikeja on the bridge in Lagos, culminated at the State House of Assembly, Alausa. They are received by the member representing Ojo One constituency, Olushegun Akande, and the majority leader. We share your pains. It is affecting everybody. It is affecting us. Even, even. We, that we are in government, we are not left out. If you have your hard copy of your petitions, you submit the hard copy of the petitions, the hard copy of the petition will be taken to the clerk, it will be read on the floor of the House, and the House will commit it, the House will commit it to the appropriate committee to look into it. Senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falana, demands that the government releases drones and CCTVs to aid the security situation while asking further for the struggling power sector to be fixed. In the case of Lagos, sir, we want CCTV cameras all over the place. Is that not so? Yes. We want tracking devices acquired. Is that not so? Yes. We want drones acquired. Is that not so? Yes. The only way we can deal with electricity tariffs sir, is for the House of Assembly to please wake up in this respect. Interestingly, the protest is also being staged in other states. Other demands include electricity tariff hike, implementation of child right laws, fixing of the refineries, and a better Nigeria in all ramifications. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.